You know, fall ushers in time for all things pumpkin, including pumpkin carving. Joining us now with some tips and tricks is the man behind the great Highwood Pumpkin Festival, Eric Fallberg. Thank you so much for being here. Just kidding. It's great to be here. This is awesome. We feel like Dexter. Yeah, right? yeah. Like we, we got are ready to go. We're yeah. about to murder some pumpkins. Apron, we're murder we got some pumpkins. Gloves and good. All right, give us some tips. What, how, what's the best way to attack a pumpkin? So we have to do anywhere from 10 to 30,000 pumpkins. Ooh. We did, you know, we've we had the record for a little bit. Yeah. About a little over 30,000 jack lanterns but Keen took it back oh. out of New Hampshire and so we're gonna have to prepare and get ready for it again so this year we'll probably do about 15,000 aiming into next year doing over 32,000. Okay, and when you say prepare, when people come to the Highwood Pumpkin Festival, they get a pumpkin that's already gutted. That's right. I mean, no one wants to mess around and get all gooky mm -hmm. and dirty. They want to come, and it's, a, it's probably one of the most real, uh, one of the only real interactive festivals. We get to carve, yeah. get to action, but we pre-scoop them. Ah. So what we do is we start drilling. Yes, and it's a little messy, right? Yeah. So don't do this in your house, maybe right. the garage Outside, or yeah. something. But, once it's done, it gets rid of all the seeds and all the dust there. So that we could dump it out. Okay, what kind of an attachment is that? Oh, it's a drill bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big drill bit. It's a okay. very big drill bit. The boring holes. All right, okay. We'll hold the pump. So we'll get, <laughs> you're right. gonna try well, he's one. He's letting me have yeah. Yeah, gonna hold, hold the it. top and just come just, right in at an angle. In an angle like yep, this. Just like that. Whoa. And just start drilling. Do this. this I is know. so therapeutic here. And so, I'm all and for so it. the nice thing is, is that the next time, let me just get around here just in case. Okay. I'll hold it. And you sit but, down angle, right? Yep, down on an angle, and He's then you a just drill man. around. He's just sitting there holding it. I have a lot of trust. Oh. Now we just try to fry those, but they don't taste too good. Oh. <laughs> pumpkin stuff inside the guts what it does no the, so the seeds are still good but what it does it takes most of the guts out okay. right so we got so when you here. dump when you're done we just scoop and it just comes right out oh. as opposed to doing it okay. so then you're ready Stuff on my face. Yeah, our stage hands are probably back there having a heart oh, attack. No, you guys are good. <laughs> Nothing okay. on the face. Nothing at all. Okay. Nothing to see Literally, you can just start carving. Okay. So, okay. so okay. people throughout the, uh, the event can start carving. I love okay. it. And so everything, when you everything you get when you go there, uh -huh. looks exactly okay. like that. You have a oh. hole in the back, and you can start carving in the front. Mm -hmm. All free hands, or do people all come and bring hands. stencils some or something? Some people put stencils up. Okay. There's some very fancy pumpkins like you have here. Uh huh. Our neighbor, neighbors Emily and Ryan did. That's okay. so cool. This uh, is Bluebeard's bones. And this represents not only our pumpkin fest, but we really got in during COVID was uh, the skeletons on display. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we have hundreds of skeletons on display. Okay. So interactive. It's a very interactive event. You get in, and then we get to light the pumpkins each night. And as I said, the goal is to do over 30,000 oh jackpots to break the record again. Oh, my goodness. And you came up with this whole idea, right? Yeah, it was a battle. I, when I lived in Vermont, it was they did it in New Hampshire. Uh -huh. And I said, you know, we could do a little better. Yeah. And so yeah. we've been battling ever since. Oh, wow. And it's been quite great to And do so that. these are all done in a matter of just the festival days, right? It's not something you work on all year round? No, yeah. So people start today. You can go to Highwood and go to 17 Highwood Avenue, which is City Hall, and you can start carving right there and there. We start putting them up on the scaffold, uh -huh. and uh, hopefully by the end of the week, we'll have them all up and lit. Yeah, the lighting requirement. Talk about the lighting requirement so for the some challenge. some are lit by light, but most are lit by candles. Yeah. And, and they have to all be like lit at glow. once, right? Yes. So we have to be lit for over over 10 minutes consistently, uh, and then you can break the record. Okay, now it's really cool. It's amazing. It's a, just the most incredible thing you ever see when we shut down the city lights so and just cool. glowing pumpkins everywhere. Yeah. You know, and we were talking about this is uh, we're using power tools, but this is still a kid-friendly event, though, right? Yes, and these are kid-friendly knives. Uh, uh -huh. Everything is monitored. We do have people that help carve uh -huh. there for kids, and the parents are usually involved. It's a great festival for both parents and kids, and single people, of course. And, and of course everyone right? can go. Yeah, because there's more than music just everywhere. The we card, have yeah. three stages, and then we have bars and restaurants full of music. Uh -huh. uh, and we have uh, beer tents and liquor tents and food about all around. You, you just can't go wrong. Is there and some, it is a free event. And is there some kind of contest, like with, like who comes up with the best pumpkin or so something? So at our place at 28 Mile, we have a uh, the Harry Potter pumpkin carving contest. Uh -huh. So who carves the best Harry Potter pumpkin? 
pumpkin carving. And we also have apple pie, uh, not apple pie, I'm sorry, pumpkin pie, of course. Yeah, uh -huh. pumpkin pie. Uh, pie eating contest, uh, costume contest, and adult costume contest. I finished with you. Me too. Well, that's fast. See? Yeah, yeah. look at that. Can we bring you guys in? <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, Joe's pumpkin. Yeah, they're not going to be that great. Mine's but... not so good, obviously. <laughs> I don't know. Well, Joe's not so pretty, though. That's fantastic. Okay, yeah, which fantastic. one's better? You know, I, I can't, you can't say, pick you know, a favorite. I can't. It's like a kid. I'm not you allowed can't to. Pick a favorite. Not that he's a husband. He just doesn't ah. want to delve into it. Right? Well, I'm always in trouble. No <laughs> there you go. <laughs> kick, kick under the table. All right, we'll show it to the folks at home. Maybe yes. they'll, they'll uh, weigh in on social media. Yeah, or try it themselves. Well, that's true. So why don't you head down to Highwood there? It's between uh, the 7th and the 9th. That's this coming weekend, starting on Friday up until Sunday. This is mine, by the way, this everybody. Mine. Mine's got a nose. Okay. Um, <laughs> check it out. We had the information there on your screen. What a great cause. This is the preparation, you guys. We got to get the, the title back. Yes, yes, we do. We have to take it back. So we need to prepare. So this year's practice. So come and help us. Come right. and help. I love it. All right. Thank, Thank you. you, Eric. Thank you so much. This has been fun. This is really fun. All right. Stage hands are going to kill you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll help. I'll help.